months, four and a half months of progress. But let's start at zero months of progress. It's Scarecrow here from my world. And this is four and a half months of guitar practice and progress. And a face, no, a voice reveal because I'll be talking during some of the riffs, but I also want to y'all to hear the how good I actually play in the right tone. So let's start at the first day. In which I didn't have an amp until in the middle of June. So so I can hear it, I'm gonna put it in just clean. But this is pretty much how I had to learn learn like my first learn my first riffs for like first three months. So just before spring break, after Stevie T, after I saw the video, top ten easiest guitar riffs, motivated me to get back into the action with the obvious riff, first riff. <laughs> No skill, just a guitar and a pick. I was motivated by Stevie T because I found out that my fit well, what was my favorite Slipknot riff at the time, Psychosocial, I found out that that verse was easy, and that made me want to get back into guitar. Here's after my first lesson. You can guess what song that is. Guess what each, what each of these songs are in the comments, and I'll shout you out in my next video where I speak. I discover drop D. I'm not on drop D right now, though. I learned the Slipknot riff. Bad distortion. That song may be a bit trickier to guess, but I'll give you a hint. It's Skillet. And a little bit after that, after spring break, first cool riff you can play. Three Days Grace well enough will know what song that is, so go. So I'm not gonna give shout outs to those people because that'll be pretty much everyone. So, April. <laughs> Music is win tells me that Thunderstruck is easy. <laughs> So that was super hard to learn a, a hammer on riff as well as learn things by ear without an amp. By the end of April, I've mastered this riff. May. I learned my first solo. Struggled with at first, but now doesn't scare me a bit. Near the end of May, I learn my first few riffs by ear. riff was the first song I ever tabbed. You can go look at it at Ultimate Guitar. Look up Your Machine, That's How We Roll. Militia song. And I'm the only one who's tabbed that song. Finally 
get a, the hang of Dead Inside. <laughs> That song, so you're not gonna get to guess it, but yeah. middle of June. He gets an amp. First song he plays with an amp. What is it? I forgot that answer, but I'm just gonna go for a guess here. I don't think I could play that part yet. July. Either super early July or late June, I find out the proper way to play that song that I just played. At that time I struggled with that part. I also learned, try to learn, just before my channel starts, I learn this riff by Skillet. At the end of July, I master. For that song, it's only one guess. It's the same as this, as this riff. And this riff. As well as this riff. And this riff. I've given, you, I've given you pretty much that whole song, so if you don't know this at this point, you don't know who do these graces for sure. At the end of July, I learn another solo. <laughs> two other solos as well. I find out about this skillet riff and song entirely and is now my favorite skillet song and riff. <laughs> Also, the hardest scale riff that I can play, the main riff of that song goes like this. That song's in drop, this guitar is not. Now, after... The first riff, new riff, after that, and that is now. Two songs that I just played there. Slipknot, guess both of them. That is four and a half months of progress. Then was March, just like a week before spring break, 2022. And 
Now it is August, the day, two days before this is published. That's how good I am. Tell me how good I did in the comments. Be great. Stay awesome. Shred.